y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I have my June favorites video, obligatory thing here about how I can't believe it's already June, oh my gosh. And also, you will notice that the background is different behind me, so I'm going to offer an explanation for that and for why I've only been doing videos once a week. I have like kind of a grown-up job internship thing going on for the summer, and what I'm doing is I'm working at a church, kind of shadowing the pastor, learning what kind of goes on like at a local church and like all the behind the scenes stuff and I've been doing like 9 to 5, working the grind, all that kind of stuff and I'm staying with the host family right now so I've been trying to figure out you know how I'm gonna do that a lot of the stuff I have is pre-recorded and you're still gonna see some more pre-recorded stuff but I haven't wanted to stop filming or anything, so that's why I'm filming my favorites video right now. I hope the lighting is okay. I didn't bring my light set. I brought my camera and my tripod, though. And anyway, I think I think that's an adequate explanation. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I have three eyeshadow favorites. Um... The first one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I've been wearing this one a lot, um, just because I've kind of had to change up my style a little bit since this is like a grown-up kind of job where I have to look professional on the job. And I'm not entirely sure what that entails, but I think a neutral palette does that pretty darn well. And so I've been using this on basically an everyday basis, and I'm trying to incorporate more colors that I like, but for a really good neutral look, this is what I've been going for, and it smells like chocolate. Everybody knows that it is so good, and yeah. And the other two eyeshadow palettes are kind of rediscovered favorites. Um, these are my Strobe Cosmetics um, American Horror Story palettes in Freak Show and Hotel. I really like these because they're both a little bit more colorful than my... Oh, I can't show you this one because I broke one of the shadows, trying to be too intense one day. Um, but these are kind of like colors that I can incorporate and kind of make look professional. Right now, today I have, I'm wearing Addiction Demon from the Hotel palette on my lids and my lower lash line. By the way, if you want a tutorial on this look, let me know. Um, and I find that using these in combination with the Chocolate Bar palette is a really, really, really good way for me to kind of indulge myself on the bright colors and funness and shimmery and glitteriness that I like on an everyday basis without it being too intense or inappropriate for work, and yeah. The next thing I've really been loving is this NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. I got this because I have heard that this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I'm kind of out of all of my little samples of primer potion right now and this works almost as well in my opinion it has like that same kind of like silky texture and it does a really good job of keeping my eyeshadow in place which I can't say for a lot of primers what I would like to do um, and let me know if you like this as an idea for a video but I want to get the full size Urban Decay primer potion and do the NYX on one eye and the Urban Decay on the other and do the exact same eye makeup on each side and just kind of do a test to see how well this works in comparison to the Urban Decay and I think that could be like just a really cool and fun video. So that could be cool, let me know down below. So three more beauty favorites. The first one is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Dazzled. Uh, I have this on my cheeks today, everything that I'm talking about I have on my face today. Um, this is just a really, I blinded you, um, just a really nice, like, light mauve-ish color, and I know I've mentioned this in my videos before, but I'm really scared of blush, just because when I first started wearing makeup, that was the thing that I always had the most trouble blending, so for this being a more subtle hint, um, I really just like how this turns out on my face, and I can't like, I can't explain that much more about it other than it's really good and I think it lasts a long time. It's great. Yeah. Okay, the next thing is this Carmex Lip Balm. I have it in the squeezy tube. 
I remember that my mom and I were completely obsessed with this when I was in high school. And this month, I think it's been just like the weather and everything, but my lips have just been so, so, so dry to the point where they're like burning. And my Burt's Bees lip balm just kind of wasn't doing it. So I saw this in the drugstore. I needed it. So I bought it. And this has been my saving grace. And you can also like, if you have like cuticles or <laughs> dryness on your hands, you can put it there too. But this has just been my saving grace. Every time I put this on, it gives me such intense hydration on my lips and it makes me feel, well, it makes my lips feel so good. And that makes me feel better as a person because my self-esteem is tied directly to how, well, how good of a lip balm I have. And the last makeup favorite I have is this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Chihuahua, or as my dad would say it, Melted Chihuahua. I really like this, got it on my lips today. This, I think, is like everybody's like perfect pinky mauve nude lipstick, which again, since I've been having my grown-up job and working in a professional-ish place, has been really good for me. The only issue I have, and if you have a solution to this problem, let me know, um, is it's kind of gotten to the point where I think the little foamy tip thing is clogged and I'm having a really hard time getting some more out of it. So if you have any idea on how to fix that, let me know, because I like this and I don't want to have to like go out and buy another one just because this one is a little funky right now. Okay, so one of my non-beauty favorites this month, I have been watching a lot of anime and I have finally gotten around to watching Fruits Basket and it has 26 episodes and I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, but like if you've ever watched Oron High School Host Club, if you like that, you'll like this. Basically the premise of it of, is this girl has been orphaned, but she ends up going to live with one of the boys who goes to her school and it turns out that, that his entire family has a curse where if they are touched by a member of another gender, they are turned into an animal of the zodiac. And it's really cute, but it's also really deep and really heart-wrenching. Like the first episode, you expect it, with the premise, you expect the first episode to be really cute, but it will like rip your soul out and it doesn't get cute until the second episode really. And like I just finished it last night pretty much and I wasn't intending on finishing it last night but I got to around like episode 23 or 24 and just the way it ended just <clears throat> so much that I could not stop watching it until there had been good conflict resolution and the ending is so good and it makes you feel feels and yeah. Another favorite, I don't have it with me because I borrowed it from the library, but I have finally read Divergent. It is so good. I feel like that is something that I totally should have read in high school, but I didn't. The book is so good, I need to get my butt over to the library so I can get the second and third books because after that I want to watch the movies. And I... Uh, my heart... I want to finish it. And the last thing that's, it's kind of a favorite, it's kind of just a really cool thing that happened. I don't know if any of you follow Tori Biohazardous Beauty on YouTube, but one day I posted on Instagram, I followed one of her tutorials for the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette, but I kind of just used what I had because I don't own the Alice in Wonderland palette and I don't know if I really want to. Um, but, and I tagged her in it because I thought, oh, okay, this is really cool. <laughs> Because I followed your thing and I just wanted you to know I did it and I wanted to give credit to her for all of the other people who would look at it. Well, I'll put up right here, she tagged me in a thing on Instagram that was like a collage of a bunch of people who had followed her tutorials and the message was so absolutely sweet. Let me find it on Instagram and read out loud just because I... Like, I fangirled so hard over this because her makeup skills 
are just absolutely stunning. I almost never do this, and I don't know why, but you guys don't know how happy it makes me when you tag me in your recreations of my tutorials. I get so excited when I get to see either makeup you've done that's a recreation of a tutorial or makeup that's been inspired by me. Here are just a few stellar examples for the sake of sharing the love. You guys are all the greatest. And she tagged me and a few other people in it. And it just made me feel so good because she's like the goth queen of beauty YouTube, pretty much. And I don't know, it, when something happens like that, it kind of makes you feel like you're doing something right. It was just, I fangirled a lot. All right, y'all, that's it for my June favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And anyway, I will see y'all in my next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye! Hey y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. Okay, let me pull up my other favorites because I have completely forgotten what it is that I have actually enjoyed this month. I've been watching a bit more anime this month and I finally got a wow around. Wow. Oh wow, I finally got a wow to watching. I'm gonna try that entire thing again. I'm attempting to get a good thumbnail. Squall.